you look at the two last games for Miami FC, whether it was Indy Level, where they didn't start as well as they would like, were very flat. Last time out, full guns blazing. And how can, quickly can they start here at home in front of a very good Tampa Bay Rowdy side? Been fantastic. 13 victories, four losses, and three defeats. Segbers on the approach, holding his ground. Pulls the trigger, that one trying to go short side. Misses the target. He rides close in proximity. See how it's all orchestrated, that one off the crossbar. Rebound, that one won't go either. Is it Dejas looking for it? Early outcome, it goes to Miami FC. Closes down Charlie Dennis, and you talk about the resurgence of Charlie Dennis. Eight goals, two assists on the year. You give him that time and space. About 25 yards out, he can make you pay. Just gets denied by Zendejas post. And how that ball does not end up across that goal line is... Tampa Bay coming off that victory is... Ricky mentioned 2-1 over FC Tulsa, played through Salazar with the strike. I don't even know how it got that shot off. English shot for Segbers, gives it up. Rivas can't find the handle on it. Bolu with the strike. Sparrow with the right hand on the denial. Relationship between Doherty and Dennis hasn't been the best so far in this first half, but this ball from Mark Segbers, if you're walking Rivas, you need to hit this with your right foot first time. As it recycles back, big time save from Connor Sparrow. Bullock and Yodi hits it extremely well, but straight at the goalkeeper. You can't, you look at the USL Championship and they come to mind. Watch out. Dangerous proposition. No numbers though. Left footed punch and a great collection there in the back side with the Rowdies. Cabral has Segbers outside, waited way too long to get to him. Far side official does not have the flag up. Rivas that chip softly on Sparrow. That play looked like it could have developed a lot earlier than that, though. Here's Jennings with some space. Jennings trying to tee up Ofiemu, left footed punch right into the crest of Zendejas. Segber is one of them. This one played through, finds a seam. Rivas and Sparrow comes out. Highway robbery but the service exceptional. He starts on his right-hand side and he comes centuries just to overload for his last one, Freddie Kleeman. Brilliant ball in from Gabriel Cabral. We talked about his technical ability and vision. And for Tampa Bay, they want to make sure they solidify a first round home playoff game. We saw it in several different ranks of competition. This one sprung loose and Tampa immediately out. Jennings had a beat on it. Now the reinforcements come, but Jenks the left foot. Great stop by Zendejas. Can he get the second one? No. Cal Jennings, after the hydration break, had a step, did not give up on the play. What a response that's coming out of the hydration break. And talk about the balance on the front line, whether it is J.J. Williams coming to feet. Cal Jennings gives you the ability just to stretch and to create something out of nothing. The way that he gets his hips around this ball to keep it on target. Now that ball didn't cross the line. J.J. Williams is there to clean it up. But on first instance, I thought that goal would, should go. To and you have a play that could be designed. Cabral, the header. No, just missing there, Paco Craig. A valiant effort, but that will conclude the festivities here in the first 45 minutes of play. Her pace. Salazar looking for an angle. Rebus working. Joaquin back to the Cabral. Waited too long. Bolu. Rivas squares it up. Again, the defense comes back. Rivas is taking his time. Another angle. Rivas left foot. Sparrow had an angle on it. On that left foot, you get denied to that far post as it re retain, recycles back across. Now you try to sneak it into that near post, but you have to get four Cal Jennings and JJ Williams just to try to catch out Miami FC because they need to push higher. Telford with some real estate. He could have taken a shot. Alex to do so. Sparrow with two hands pushes that side right. I really like this from Ryan Telfer. He understands as Kleeman's going to rise up for this ball. I need to have my secondary action, whether it's underneath or just running like for. Don't make me blush. This one headed around, played through. Zendejas got the left hand on it. Perez, a nasty mix up at midfield. Pretty Kleeman in the middle of it. 
voted on by Ricky Lopez Espin. <laughs> That's about it. He's got the honors. Watch out, Mines. Mines, sharp oh, angle. God. At the Don't very last moment, broken up. Things happen. Aiden Sealing, he provides a quality from a wide area. As this ball rotates over, I think if you're Ben Mines, if you cut this ball back into the floor and below, it's probably a better success rate, but take nothing away from the strike and nothing away from that. Kava with some space. Lacava goes down inside the 18. No penalty called. And now there is. Give credit to Jake Lacava. Knows exactly what he wants to do. So decisive. Unbalances Mark Segbris. And there's no need to leave your feet there if you're Mark Segbris. You're beat. There's traffic, essentially. Just let him run into it. And let Ben OPM, who step off the line, clear PK. The pressure on agents and Diaz was failed to stop a PK this season on three bids. Dennis on the approach, pulls it, he scores! Right down the pipe, Charlie Dennis points to the hometown faithful that have made the trek from Tampa Bay. Just takes a little bit off of it. Let's send Dejas guess the wrong way. And go centrally, the audacity and the confidence. Cool as you would like, off to the corner, celebrate. Two goals for Tampa Bay Rowdy. Damian Chuck will be looking at his watch here in a few moments. Before that, we'll have a free kick from just outside the 18. But once again, it's just reactive defending. Bay, their 14th victory of the season, good for 47 points, second best in the Eastern Conference, and more importantly, they sweep the season series against Miami FC, winning by a combined score of 4-0 tonight, 2-0 the difference. That's